All right, now. I'm going to try to make this thing the last one. Uh-oh, I have problems. See? I have problems with my camera because I don't got the right material. But pretty soon, I'm going to have the right stuff, and I'm going to be able to do my videos the way I was doing them last year. I want to say that uh, a lot of stuff I'm saying is not from personal experience. A lot of times people think well, I make videos because of my own personal experience. But if see, I'm more or less trying to focus on the truth. The truth. Truth is universal. I'm dealing with facts. Facts are things that's gathered. These are information that's gathered. This is proof. And in order for me to speak from my perspective, in my opinion, then I'm not speaking truth. I'm only speaking a bunch of garbage because it's all just my own personal baggage and not something that's uh, universal because everybody can relate to what I'm saying. I even hear the white man tell me if he was a black man, he would not trust white people neither. I heard a white man tell me that once. And I looked at him like, man, be quiet. Don't talk too loud because people are going to hear you and you're going to have these people in here against you. I don't trust no white people. I sit up there, I listen to what they say, I let them throw their spill out there, but as far as me going head, her, uh, head first into believing everything, I don't believe shit they say. And half of what they show. And that's the same thing with us. You ain't supposed to believe what them suckers be telling you, man. Because they'll tell you a whole bunch of bullshit and don't mean shit. Look at their history. People say that we teaching hate. We teaching our brothers and sisters to wake up and see these people for who they are. We didn't create their history. We don't write their history. They created their own history. They write their own history. We didn't. We only just speak it from what we know. You know? Whether No matter how many times I've been to prison, how many times I did this, how many times I did that. Knowledge is knowledge. Understanding is understanding. That don't make no difference what or who or why says what to you. As long as it's the truth, that's all that should matter. A person told me, why should I believe you and you're a criminal? You've been to prison all these many times and blah, blah, this and that. I said, well, if a man that you know was a criminal was telling you that your brother had a car accident up the street and he looked like he ain't gonna make it. You ain't gonna accept that from accept that information from him? So why would you not accept it from me if I tell you something that you probably don't want you want to be aware of? Something that you probably don't want to hear. Black folks. We have to deal with white people. In every social event we have in society, in society, but we have to deal with them. But the question is, do you have to deal with them on a personal level? Brothers that mess with white women, do you have to deal with white women on a personal level? Do you have to get personal with them? You might want to just go out and sow your oats. But this one woman want to whine and dine you and do all these different things and get on a personal level with you. It's your choice to make whatever it is you want to do. You working on a job. There's a couple of white guys on a job and uh, y'all work together. These are co-workers. And after work, they want you to. They want to invite you to their house. They want to invite you out to a bar and all that stuff, so they can get you out there on the bar and try to test you and see what kind of white, uh, black jokes they can say to see what you're gonna accept or not, and then claim that they're not racist or that racism and, and race don't matter. Race does matter to white people. I would say 95% of the time, it matters in almost every circumstances. In almost every case, it matters. Don't let these people blow smoke up your behind. 
Now, what we need to do is we need to start investing in our children's future, man. We need to start trusting each other and building for our own society. Create our own businesses. Stop selling out to these people, man. Sometimes they'll buy, your, buy something out just so you won't have nothing. Just like in this town where I'm from. The black people sold themselves out. They completely sold their damn selves out. All their business, everything, to Latino. They didn't never think that when their kids get grown older and these Latinos got all these businesses and these homes, that they was going to discriminate against their own damn children and their grandchildren. Which is exactly what's happening right now today. When we get a hold of homes, don't sell them, keep them. That way your children always have a home to go to. If you get a business and the business is doing pretty good and it's in a nice business area, keep that business. Don't sell out. Even if they offer you triple as much. Because a lot of times they offer you that big money because they don't want to see you have nothing. And I'm not saying all of them feel that way. But it's enough for them for us to be concerned about. And I want to say something to the whites and the Latinos. But I'm not going to say this directly to them. But see, you know, I know since I titled this for black people only, I know me and Talik said, you know what? If you want to attract a whole bunch of whites and Latinos more than you would just making a video about something plain and simple, title it for black people only. And I guarantee you, you'll get more whites and Latinos tuning into that video. So since you are already here, which I know you are, I'm going to say something to you too. Stop your damn lying. Stop all your cheating and your skinning and grinning. Because I'm not the type of brother that's going to kiss your ass. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care about what kind of little image you got going on. I don't give a shit about that. I'm looking for what's in here. And a lot of times I don't see nothing in here. It's an empty shell. All I see is an image. All I see is a jive time ass, uh, 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 bullshit person who's trying to make me believe that they just like everybody else when they know they're really not. I don't need you. And you got a lot of black people who really don't understand where you're coming from. And you try to convince them that something is wrong with me because I see you for who you really are. And sometimes y'all don't even know or see yourselves for who y'all really are. But I see you. And you're offended. And you feel intimidated. So what you try to do you try to turn the other people against me or people like me because I'm a threat. I'm a direct threat to your jive-ass games. Now, that's really keeping it short. I didn't really write my analog down or put any dialogue up about this video. I'm doing this, as they say, I'm playing it by ear. But Brother Talit is going to do his thing. But I want y'all to know something. Pretty soon, real, very, very soon, I'm going to have some blog talks coming up. And what I do is I do interviews on blog talk. Blog talk radio. I will be giving you the description and the title of my blog talks coming up soon. That's my part. That's my job description of the reality simple on earth. I do blog talks. I do interviews. I like to be interviewed and I want you to meet me there when I start this blog talk ministry but in the meantime I am Andre Demon 69 student minister of action for the reality on earth it's on you Tali take it away